Mintable versus Rarible versus OpenSea, which is the best platform for buying and selling NFTs. Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be discussing all three of these platforms. What are the pros and cons and differences between all three of these? And should you use one over the other to start selling your NFTs? So let's get into it. Now, you can see over here that Mintable, Rarible, and OpenSea are three platforms where you can buy and sell NFTs. These are probably top three of the nft marketplaces that you're gonna find you can both create nfts on all of these platforms so you can see all three of these give you the option to create and start minting your nfts as well on mintable and the basic purpose of all three of these is to buy and sell nfts now to simplify this video i would like to say that in all three of these it's great to use them as a purchaser so if you're looking to actually buy nfts it really doesn't make a difference where you buy them from the fees that you're going to be paying are going to be pretty much the same on all three of these platforms if you're choosing to buy now if you're choosing to actually sell your nfts that is going to be a different situation so if you are looking to actually sell your nfts on any of these platforms then you need to stay tuned for this video to understand what are the key differences and what is going to be a better platform for you to sell your nfts on so the first thing we need to understand is the basic difference between all three of these platforms now if you take a look at Mintable and OpenSea and Rarible, OpenSea is definitely the oldest in comparison to all three. OpenSea does claim to be the largest NFT marketplace as well, so they do say that they have the largest collection available as compared to other platforms. Now, the next thing you need to know is what are the different categories that they serve. So, Mintable has NFTs and a NFT marketplace, while OpenSea has NFTs, NFT analytics, and NFT marketplaces. And Rarible then again also just has NFTs and a NFT marketplace. So with OpenSea, you're going to get a analytics section, which you're not going to get on other platforms. And you can see they even have a stats uh, section over here where you can see the overall activity and rankings of NFTs that are doing well on their platform. Now, next up are the different integrations that you can work on with on these platforms. Now, depending on what kind of blockchain you're using, you're going to be able to sell certain kind of NFTs specifically on certain platforms. That just depends on the blockchain that you go for. So for Mintable, only MetaMask and Ethereum are the two integrations that you're going to be able to function with. So if you're going with Mintable, then you're going to have to purchase or buy or sell your own Ethereum block chain nfts so if you have any other kind of nft you can't really sell it or buy it on mintable although they do provide their own minting services so it's not going to be a big deal to mint your nfts via the mintable platform but it's still a bit inconvenient that they don't give you any other option now with OpenSea, you have ethereum metamax arcane arthurium bitsky and dapper so you can see there are slightly more options on OpenSea, and then with a rarible you can use ethereum metamask charged particles and you can also use deep D dao encrypted ink and infinity wallet now these are just some of the key features that differentiate all three of these platforms if we were to actually take a look at the training support on all three of these platforms they are pretty different so you can see that they have technology integrations that are very different the wallets that you're going to be using on OpenSea, rarible and mintable are going to be different rarible does allow you a bit more options but OpenSea only allows you metamask wallet so that's also going to be a bit difficult and if you're looking to sell nfts and if you're looking for more options you want a diverse kind of portfolio you can definitely inclined towards rarible because rarible is going to give you the most amount of leeway so you can have a lot more creativity on the rarible platform now in terms of the sign up process for beginners these three are pretty similar and simple to use you can see that you can sign up just with your username and email with OpenSea, you just have to connect your wallet and you can sign up with your email as well and then on rarible you can sign up with your metamask account directly you can sign up with your mobile wallet and many other options so 
In terms of a beginner friendliness, you're going to be able to get a pretty easy to use platform in all three situations. All three of these are pretty simple and easy to navigate through. And there is not a major uh, difference between these uh, platforms. You're not going to be able to see any night and day difference. It's going to be the slight little things that really do impact the overall usability of the platform. So if we were to actually take a deeper dive, you can see that the audience for all three of these is different. So people that are seeking for a digital platform for trade items and, and to earn cryptocurrency are usually on Mintable. So if we take a look at OpenSea, people are searching and buying and selling blockchain-based digital assets to have smart contracts. So the purpose of OpenSea is not directly to make money or to sell or make cryptocurrency. People want assets on OpenSea and people are more collectors as compared to people that are just doing some easy buys and sells here and there. Then we have Rarible where a lot of people are creator focused and this allows people to get a specific characteristics out of a seller. So you're going to see that if one of your collections does well, you're going to be able to sell out a lot more within your entire portfolio because people are more interested in your entire portfolio as compared to a singular NFT. So if you are someone that is looking to create nfts in the long run if you're an artist and you want to build your own portfolio with nfts rarible is definitely something you should check out if you're someone that is just interested in cryptocurrency and you are only interested in nfts to make money in crypto you can definitely check out mintable and if you are generally someone that wants to invest in nfts that wants a deeper dive in nfts and you want to sell your own nfts at a good price with a low binding fees and a general general overall simple platform and the oldest platform, then you can definitely check out OpenSea. In general, in terms of their training support, Mintable allows you documentation support only. Then you have OpenSea that offers training support through documentation, but Rarible allows you support through documentation as well as live online training. So with Rarible, you're going to be able to get a lot more help. You're going to be able to start off a lot more stronger than the other two platforms. We are about to end this video and to end it on a good note, I would like to request you guys that if you found this video helpful or if you found this method exactly what you wanted or what you were looking for, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and sharing it with your friends and family who might learn a thing or two from this video or learn a thing or two from the hundreds of videos that we have on our channel and of course if you have any questions any queries about anything in this video or with related to our entire channel or any of our videos, make sure to leave a comment down below and ask us what you want from our videos. I tried to cover everything I could in this video, but if you want to see more details of the methods or the ways in this video, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to make more videos on your suggestions. At the end of the day, it's all about providing you guys with valuable content that could help and a positive change in your life and hopefully your friend and family's life as well and at the end I would like to request you to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel as it helps out our videos a lot and again thank you so much for watching till next time goodbye